and welcome back to the Seed Clinic YouTube channel. Today we will be talking about the rules and regulations surrounding cannabis in other countries including Portugal, Spain, Italy, Mexico, Germany, Canada, the Netherlands, China, Russia, Australia, and England. In Portugal, medical cannabis is legalized while recreational cannabis is illegal but small amounts for personal use are decriminalized. Medical cannabis patients can buy from their local pharmacies with a doctor's prescription. CBD is also available to patients with a medical prescription. Since recreational cannabis is illegal, you cannot grow your own. If you are found with a 10-day supply, 5 to 10 grams on more than one occasion, you must appear before a committee made up of a medical professional, lawyer, and social worker who will determine if the person needs treatment, must pay a fine, or won't receive a penalty. In Spain, medical cannabis has become legal while recreational use is illegal in public. In general, laws surrounding cannabis in Spain are pretty complicated. With Spain just recently legalizing medical cannabis, the market is currently limited with plans for dispensaries with prescriptions and more to follow. In Spain, it is illegal to smoke cannabis in public. However, you are able to smoke and grow up to two plants in the comfort of your own private residence or smoke in a cannabis club. Cannabis clubs are private clubs which require membership in exchange for the ability to purchase cannabis in the club and socialize. In Italy, recreational cannabis is illegal with the exception of ornamental use, however it is generally decriminalized. Light cannabis refers to products with up to 0.5% THC which can be purchased in store. Medical cannabis is legal although there is a history of medical cannabis shortages despite it being Europe's second largest market. Italy's military grows a small amount while also importing some. Medical cannabis is either imported by hospital pharmacies or by a handful of private pharmaceutical wholesalers that distribute to pharmacies. There are larger efforts to create a stronger supply by expanding production to private firms. The laws are unclear and complicated, and the lack of clarity regarding the cannabis flower has allowed customers to purchase it legally as ornamental. In Mexico, medical cannabis is legal while private recreational use is decriminalized if it is 5 grams or less. Currently, there is lots of legislation surrounding the issue that is being debated including possession rules and fines, growing rights, and other legalities. Mexico has a long history with cannabis, with it first being introduced as early as the 16th century in the form of hemp. In Germany, medical cannabis is legal while the government is currently working to legalize recreational use. Germany is home to one of the largest medical cannabis markets outside of North America, yet it depends heavily on imports. As of 2018, German sales of medical cannabis topped the combined sales of all other European nations and the sales are continuing to increase. Germany currently prohibits growing your own plants. In Canada, both medical and recreational use is legal. Under federal legislation, medical and recreational use is allowed for people 18 years and older to purchase, although provinces are allowed to change the purchasing age. Canada allows residents to grow up to four non-medical plants per household. Canada is the second country in the world after Uruguay to legalize the cultivation, possession, acquisition, and consumption of cannabis and its products. In the Netherlands, medical cannabis use is legal and recreational use is illegal, with the exception of coffee shops. These coffee shops are places for social gatherings where you can buy cannabis and sometimes other soft drugs for personal use, which are tolerated by the local authorities. These coffee shops are able to stay in business considering they follow the tolerance policy, meaning that authorities will not enforce the law illegal recreational cannabis as long as the shops follow the rules and regulations put in place. People aged 18 years and older are allowed to purchase cannabis, but the growing of plants is banned. In China, both medical and recreational cannabis use is illegal, despite the fact that the earliest finding of cannabis was thought to be back in China in 2500 BC. Generally, the Chinese government views cannabis negatively and only allows it for industrial purposes in the form of hemp. China considers cannabis a dangerous narcotic, being as dangerous as opiates and heroin, hence the lack of medical programs set in place. Anyone found in possession of more than 50 grams of controlled substances can face the death penalty. 
Despite all of this, China is the world's largest hemp producer. In Russia, both medical and recreational cannabis are illegal, and any of its byproducts are also illegal. The Russian government and a majority of Russian citizens are against the legalization of it. They believe that anything medical cannabis can be used to treat can be fixed by using narcotics and prescribed medications, and that cannabis causes psychosis. Russia is not currently planning to legalize medical or recreational cannabis, and it does not look like they are changing their minds anytime soon. In Israel, medical cannabis is legalized and recreational cannabis is illegal but partially decriminalized. Israel is one of the largest cannabis markets in the world, in addition to one of the biggest revenue-generating investment opportunities. Israel is the world's largest importer of medical cannabis, importing more than half of its supply. While tight regulations surround the research, cultivation, possession, distribution, and sale of cannabis, there is talk of further decriminalizing for recreational use. In Australia, medical cannabis is legalized but is limited and highly regulated, while recreational use is illegal and decriminalized. If caught, the penalties vary per state. Australia is one of the largest centrally regulated medical cannabis markets outside of Canada, so revenue-generating opportunities exist for overseas companies. As Australia's market is rapidly growing, they are working to make limited doses of CBD available over the counter. It is legal to grow the cannabis plant if you have the correct license and follow the regulations set in place. In England, medical cannabis is legal but limited, while recreational use is illegal even on your own private property. While the UK is the world's largest exporter of legal cannabis, it remains illegal to possess, distribute, sell, or grow cannabis for personal use. The list of doctors who can write medical cannabis prescriptions is restricted to only those clinicians listed on the special register of the General Medical Council. As cannabis' popularity increases, more and more countries around the world are working to legalize it. Because each country has different rules and regulations which are constantly changing, it is important to know the updated laws in order to avoid any unnecessary conflict. In general, the majority of countries allow medical use while a large number of countries have decriminalized recreational use and are working towards fully legalizing cannabis. We thank you so much for watching and hope you learned a lot. Be sure to check out our channel and other social medias.